hello you guys so i have a word for you guys and this is of course from the lord and he gave me this march 30th 2024 and so i'm starting in john 3 12 and it reads if i told you everything and you do not believe how will you believe if i tell you heavenly things the Matthew 13 and 16 but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear for truly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desire to see what you see and did not see it and to hear what you hear and did not hear it who 1243 now when the unclean spirit goes out of a man it passes through waterless places seeking rest and does not find it then it says i will return to my house understand you guys the spirit that is unclean when it gets casted out goes to a waterless place seeking rest but it does not find it so then it says to itself let me return to my house which is your body and you guys this is why even in the bible it says do you not know that you are the temple of the holy spirit meaning the house of god come on so understand that you can also be a house of unclean spirits and then it says i will return to my house from which i have come and when it comes it finds it unoccupied meaning after you got deliverance right demons cast it out you didn't start filling that house with his holy spirit with the lord so it says if this wicked spirit finds it unoccupied swept and put in order right empty then it says then it goes and takes along with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself and they go in and live there and the last state of that man becomes worse than the first that is that is the way it will also be with this evil generation this is why you shouldn't just be going to get deliverance over and over again if you have no intentions to fill it up with the things of God because now you are just becoming a house for even more wicked or spirits to dwell in you. This is why you shouldn't just be going if you do cast out demons and just delivering a person over and over and over again when they're clearly not filling themselves up with god because you're actually doing more damage to them so maybe go in with a different angle as you or after you have already done deliverance the first time and if you see that they keep on coming then you should be praying for their salvation you shall be praying and warring if the lord has put them in your heart to kind of watch over in the spiritual realm and makes you a watchman for that person you should be going at it tearing down things from the spiritual realm because you are only making it worse for them and so it also says that is the way it will also be with this evil generation then the lord had me write down it says becomes worse than first generation than the first generation meaning where we are right now is worse than we've ever been spiritually that's why you can see like oh lord guard my lips guard my lips but this is why we see satan more bold more vulgar wise in our faces back in the day he wasn't this out there even with transgender even with you know this pride even with like homosexuality and all these things like they're sin it's absolutely a sin because you're coming against your identity that god had made you in so you're altering your state of mind that god had made and who he made you to be before he put you in the womb of your mother now of course <laughs> that's not the only sin there's a whole bunch of sins that you know 
that Satan is just throwing even listening to you know maybe your favorite artist like the rapper or the artist the singer is degrading right god is let's always remember god is holy righteous and true he never changes <laughs> he's always holy he's always clean he's always pure so anything outside of that is perversion which is what the enemy uses and this isn't just transgender in the surgery you know to go from a man to a woman or a woman to a man because in the video the lord had me um talk about for halloween where he was talking about botox and injection and he's saying you are changing the way that he made you so even that in itself is wrong and he said you are conforming to look more and more like the world than being who it is he's designed you to be and so we are in a state in a generation where sin is so out there and the devil is working overtime to make us desensitized so we don't even know because the world is doing it and this is why we have to be born again born again christians because if we're not we will continue to look to the world for our identity and who we are when the world clearly like the bible says that satan is the lowercase g god of this world so if you are looking to the world you really are looking for the approval of satan oh jesus that was a lot that was a lot i wasn't even i didn't even think of that <laughs> oh jesus oh my goodness but that that is true and so now we're gonna go to 12 34 and it says words reveal character so it says you vipers how can you being evil speak what is good this is good because it goes along with looking to the world how can god's people look to the world when we're not of it we're supposed to be looking to his holy bible right and this is from his holy bible okay how can you being evil speak what is good for the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart so meaning if your heart is evil how can you speak of good when truly you are wicked right meaning everything good that you would be saying is a lie because that's not what's in your heart so then it's 35 the good man brings out of his good treasures what is good and the evil man brings out of his evil treasures what is evil but i tell you that every careless word that people speak they shall give an account for it in the day of judgment and the lord said to me even now and then revelations 12:10. So it says, for our accuser has been thrown down, he who accuses them day and night. And it says, Matthew, so then he took me to Matthew 12, 30, 37. For by your words, you will be justified and by your words, you will be condemned. And then he said to me, how curses can come in at work. Proverbs 26, and two, it says, so a curse without a cause does not alight, which means land. And so back to Revelations 12, 9, he took me. And the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old, who was called devil and Satan. So when people... <laughs> So when people are trying to be like, oh, Satan's not the serpent that convinced Eve to eat the apple. It was such a lie. <laughs> he is. And clearly he says, and the great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old. Because that's in Genesis, the beginning. Okay. Called. Who is called devil and Satan, meaning they're all the same who deceives, come on, the whole world, which is why Satan is the God of this world. So God's people should not be deceived because you're not of the world. And if you're spending time with God, then you know the truth because his Holy Spirit only leads us to all truth. So if you are in a state of confusion because God is not the author of confusing his people, but the enemy 
that means you're not spending enough time with him because the sheep know his voice. And then what does he say? And will not follow the voice of a stranger. He will not follow another. So now it says, who Satan who deceives the whole world, right? Because he is the lowercase g God of this world. Then he said, there are those of the world and those of God. That's what he said to me and what I wrote. It says, so he's speaking of those who still belong to Satan, which is why he is the God of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Come on, Holy Spirit. So anyway, it says, he was thrown down to earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Then 12 says, woe to the earth and the sea. And then he told me, because he has corrupted it with the marine kingdom. So those of you who don't believe in the marine kingdom, all these movies, these mermaid movies, all these demonic things, even Wakanda, um, the second one, that was a whole bunch of witchcraft. Whew, okay, God, help me stay on topic. Okay, no, he says talk about it, but it's a whole bunch of witchcraft. There really is a marine kingdom. Everything is spiritual, you guys. And so, yes, it says, woe to the earth and the sea, right? Why the earth? Because Satan was thrown down in the earth, right? He was thrown down to earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Woe to the earth and the sea, and God says, because he has corrupted it with the marine kingdom. Then it says, because the devil has come down to you having great wrath, knowing that he has only a short time. Then First John 2, it says, my little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. Because sin is what gives Satan access, you guys. Right? Because a curse without a cause cannot land. And so now, Lord, where am I? So, okay, my little children, he says, my little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate. And he, say, and he said also grace with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And then he said atonement. And he himself is the appropriation uh, for our sins and not ours only but also for those of the whole world and then he says sons of satan in repentance and choosing god so that's how it becomes for you sons of satan by coming to the lord by repenting and by choosing to serve god and repent means you know turning away turning away so stop doing the evil and choose righteousness and so then he says in three by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments so how do you know if you know god is if you listen to him if you keep his commandments like whatever he tells you whatever he's commanding you to do whatever he's asking you to do whatever he says to do those are his commandments and so four says, the ones who say, I have come to know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. And then he said, but Satan is. Oh, the truth, the Holy Spirit's not in him, but Satan is. And five, it says, but whoever keeps his word in him, the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked. Meaning, it says the one who says he abides in him, meaning abides in God, he himself is to walk in the manner that Jesus Christ walked in the character. You know, the characteristics that God shows us through his Bible. And so now, 1 John 2, 7, it says, the Beloved, I am not writing a new commandment to you, but an old commandment, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard. Then 1 Corinthians 10 and 6, he says, Now these things happened as an example for us, so that we would not uh, crave evil things as they are also crave he's talking about the world so that we children of god would not crave 
the evil things that the world craves, right? Because we are under a new master, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, right? God, Holy Spirit, we have submitted ourselves to the Lord and not to Satan, okay? So when you belong to Satan, you crave the things of Satan. Satan has no good in him, so you crave the evil things, right? So seven, do not be idolaters as some of them were as it is written the people sat down to eat and drink and stood up to pray nor let us act Im immorally as some of them did and twenty three thousand fell in one day nor let us try the lord as some of them did and were destroyed by the certain so <clears throat> nor let us try the lord meaning god says something and we uh basically god what is the word took advantage in a negative way his grace right <laughs> over doing grace you know not really having a repented heart but a premeditated sin right you just say it ritualistically like oh you repent but your actions don't change you continue to do the wrong thing right you overextend grace you take advantage of it you manipulate it you don't even um truly understand the meaning of grace and so therefore it says nor let us try god meaning don't keep pushing him if he's given you a chance take it you know <laughs> like take his word and the mercy he gives and actually do better repent turn from your wicked way like the fear of the lord needs to return you need to understand like he spared you but that does not mean keep trying him <laughs> He is not a man that he shall lie like do not keep trying him but understand his love and his mercy and take heed to it take heed to his warning and so it says as some of them did meaning the ones who disobeyed him the ones who kept trying him like oh god will be fine with this god is okay even though you are living in sin you practice witchcraft you practice these things this is who you are right and then it says and were destroyed by the serpent meaning it satan got his way in there and destroyed you mm, separated you from the lord and what i mean by that is if it's talking about destroyed and you die and it says and were destroyed by the serpent then you are going to hell mm, it says nor grum uh, grumbling and then it says, as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happen to them as an example. And they were written for our instructions upon them. The ends of the ages have come. Meaning we're supposed to learn from what God shows us, what he has spoken in the Bible. We're supposed to learn from their mistakes we're supposed to learn of the consequences instead of us having to endure it god is letting this be a testimony to hopefully change our lives hopefully we will take it and take heed to the warnings and repent turn from our wicked ways and 12 says therefore let him who thinks he stands take heed that he does not fall. For God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will provide the way of escape also. Come on. Come on. Come on. So that you will be able to endure it. Mm. Hallelujah. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. Flee from idolatry. <sighs> Cast it all down. I speak as to wise men. You judge what I say. Mm. <laughs> you judge what I say. Look at the nation Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices shares in the altar? Look at the nation Israel. 
are not those who eat the sacrifices shares in the altar. Mm, this is good. This is good stuff, you guys. Look at the nation Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices shares in the altar? Man, what do I mean then? That a thing sacrificed to idols is anything or that an idol is anything. So <laughs> flee from idolatry, he's saying. Man, because those who practice it, building these altars unto these deities, unto these evil spirits. They are giving you, they also are partaking in this. Like, they're giving to their idols, right? To their lowercase g gods. And they're also giving you the same food that they eat that is sacrificed up. <laughs> to these guys even like saying like even praying when people are praying over their food like which god are they praying to <sighs> are not those who eat the sacrifice or shares in the altars man come on jesus <clears throat> mm. then 20 says no but i say that the things which the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to God. Mm. And I do not want you to become sharers in demons. <laughs> Set us free, Lord. Set your people free. Now, Ezekiel 36, 25 through 30. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Your idols will fall. <laughs> Your idols will fall. Mm. Mm. I think this is a good time to go to God, to ask him to search your heart and to expose anything that the enemy has slid in there and to bring it to your remembrance so you may repent, so you may turn from it. Because, you know, there's also the scripture where it says, like, God is not slow to his promises, as some think slow is. Man, but God wishes that none shall perish. He doesn't want us to perish. That's why he gives us warnings through his prophet. This is why he gives us his holy Bible to read so that we don't fall for these ancient mistakes that these demons are still using, that Satan is still using because he's watched and studied your great grandparents, you know, your forefathers, the people on your mother's side. Like God wants us to learn. This is why bad things happen. We see the punishment and the wrath of God in the Bible when people are disobedient and they don't listen. He's trying to show you that it's your choice. You can choose good or you can choose evil. You can choose the blessing or you can choose the curse, but it's up to you. But it's up to you. You know, everybody who was able to make it to heaven, everybody who goes to hell, the choice is up to you. Because God seriously sends people to you, sends signs to you to bring you back. But it's ultimately, are you going to keep resisting? Are you going to allow the demon in you to keep resisting God? Or are you going to say, God, take it from me. I surrender. And maybe you don't believe in God. But you know you can ask him to show you if he's real. <laughs> because we, those who serve God Almighty, right? Those who truly serve Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Yahweh, Yeshua, right? Jehovah Gabor, El Shaddai, Jehovah Rohai, like those who truly serve the living God. 
he's still alive this ruach is in your lungs he wakes you up every day this is not the devil like this is god he he doesn't need people to prove his existence he can show you himself the problem is idolatry people are more focused on people speaking for god that they don't go to him themselves which is why there's this issue because people who once served god has strayed and you people are still looking to those people and saying well god's not real the church did me wrong the pastor did this the pastor did that <laughs> the pastor ain't god the pastor's flesh he can also serve satan this is why we go to God. This is why we ask God to, you know, to increase our desires for him and reading his word so that we can take the Bible and hold it up to people. God says, this is what his people look like. And we can read that in Romans. We can read that in um, God. What is it? Galatians. Thank you. And Colossians. Like you can read where Paul is talking about these are the fruit of people who serve God. And also Peter, like you can read as they are telling you, the, this is what God is saying. These are the things of God. Like, and these are the things of Satan. Like you can see if you read it. This is why God says judge them by their fruit. Why? Because in Galatians, he tells you the fruit of the spirit. Judge them by their fruit. Fruit ain't always their rich. They have popularity, like um, 100 million likes and subscribers. and That's not it. <laughs> you know, the Bible also says what you invest in is what you... If you invest in spiritual things, you will get spiritual things. If you invest in carnal things, you will get carnal things. We're supposed to judge by the Spirit. With the Holy Spirit who leads us to all truth. Do you understand this is why God says, like, judge with a righteous judgment. Do not judge by appearance. God judges the heart. Because that's, that's where your thoughts really lie. Who you are really lies in your heart. And so that is all for now. But take heed, take heed, take heed so much is getting ready to happen all right you guys i'm out peace bye